we had a major snowstorm for two days here in New Jersey where I live. So I thought it'd be fun to take a little walk in my town and show you what it's like after a monster storm. We got 79 centimeters of snow in my town. That is 31 inches. And just to give you some perspective, the next town over, they received 90 centimeters of snow, which is 35.5 inches. And if that is confirmed, it will be the largest snowstorm since 1899. It's the most snow that we've received here in New Jersey for 122 years. So it is a lot of snow. So I'm coming out of my house now <laughs> after this massive storm that we had. Look at uh, this snow here is like up to my nose. We have one car still covered. And here's my mailbox. <laughs> we won't be getting any mail anytime soon. The mailman can't come because of all this snow. So if we want any mail, we have to clear all that snow. We spent about two hours shoveling all of the snow <laughs> off of the car and around the car so that we can get out. So look at amount, the amount of snow that's on the roofs of the houses. Look at the amount of snow on that roof. Look at that. Take a look at these cars over here. They are completely snowed in. Uh, that means that they can't, they can't get them out like that. Uh, they're probably going to need a snowplow or something to get to them. That's a lot of snow between here and those car vehicles. Snowed in, snowed in. Snowed in means that uh, there's a lot of snow and you can't get out. All of the snow has to be cleared off of the driveways so that the cars can get out of the garage. Probably a driveway like this, they probably had to have someone come over with a snow plow attached to the truck to plow that because to shovel that with a shovel would take hours and hours and hours. And you can see when the snow plows come, they make these giant mounds of snow that you know are as high as my my eyes people are also required to clear the sidewalk but look at this this is crazy that took a long time to clear guys it's like a wall of snow here look at that a wall of snow on either side so see, people had to clear all of the snow out so that they could get to uh, to the main road. They had to shovel that. So they started shoveling their walk to their house and it looks like they gave up. <laughs> they got tired. All right, see this? This is not snow. I don't know if you guys know this, but one of the things that they do when they plow the road, that means they come through and clear the snow, is that they put down salt because the salt will actually help the snow to melt faster. It's a chemical reaction. This is the main road near my neighborhood. Uh, 24 hours ago, this is covered covered in snow. It's really difficult uh, to get out. It is a state of emergency, which means no one is supposed to be out <laughs> in this weather. <laughs> No one. And now 24 hours later, you can see they've cleared, cleared the snow so that it's easy, you know, once you get out to the main road to get to where you need to go. Here you have icicles. The snow melts a little bit 
uh, and it runs down the roof and then it's so cold that it freezes and the icicles during this storm because there is so much snow are quite big here you can really see the snow on the roof there look you can see the depth of it and the icicles I'm going to come up a little closer so you can see how really big they are they're really quite large Wow, look at the icicles on that house. I'm walking through a wooded area right now. I really love when the snow uh, stays on the trees. It's really quite a beautiful sight, isn't it? I live near a lake. I love to come out here every day. Uh, but in order to get to the lake, I have to walk through this. So I'm gonna give it a try here. And you can see here, I got my boots on. It's really deep, so you have to kind of push down. Oh my gosh, it's, it's going down past my knees, but it's actually Lake out to my waist. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I've never been in snow this deep ever. Wow, I don't know if we can make it to the lake today. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera so I can try it. All right, I made it to the lake. Here it is covered in snow. There is a lake under there, guys, under that snow. And you can feel the wind. Is it cold? Yes, it's cold. It's zero degrees Celsius right now. It's cold, but I did it. It's a beautiful sight. It was worth, it was worth going through that deep snow to see this. Okay. So I'm going to fall back on the snow, okay? Here goes. It kind of catches you when you fall. It feels good. I wish my bed felt like this. Just not as cold. Woo! I'm actually lying down on the snow right now. And it's cold. But it feels good. So here... Here's where I came through the snow. See my footprints there? Look how deep. It'll be a little easier to go back because I could just go back in those spaces that I walked. This is the playground in my town. As you can see, there aren't too many children playing on the playground today. <laughs> They're home playing in the snow, probably sledding or maybe skiing or ice skating. The kids have had off school for three days because of the snow, like I said. So they've had plenty of time to play in the snow, maybe make snow angels or snowmen. Yeah, one day I'm gonna make a snowman. Not today, but another day I will. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my town after this monster storm. I hope it's cooled you down a little if you're in a hot place right now. And if you liked it, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I release other videos like this, you'll be notified right away. Please like it. Please share it. Please leave me a comment. I love that too. Have a great, great day.